Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. You know, I get a lot of offline messages about the material that I post, and some people, they don't leave it in the comment string. I'll get emails. I've been getting a lot of emails about the difference between the absolute and the incremental settings on a digital readout. Is there a difference? What do you do? Why do you use one over the other? What's the big deal? Well, basically, they're exactly the same. If you were to turn your machine on in the morning and you're in incremental mode and you zero out and you find your part and you work all day in incremental, you go, holy cow, I didn't even realize it. They're exactly the same. It's just a matter of how you apply one over the other. Absolute is just that. It is absolutely dependent on the home position. And incremental is each step from any given. Well, let me show you an easy way or a convenient way to apply the incremental setting on the digital readout to make your life a little bit easier. Let's zoom in on this graphic behind me. It's short and sweet, just something to think about. Okay, let's just assume that this is a piece of aluminum, half inch thick, six by six, whatever, and this pocket is not central to the plate. It is off location. So this is not a symmetrical square washer. In an absolute positioning mode, if you are picking up the back left corner of your part as your home position, you now have four spots that you need to find. You need to find the corners of this pocket based on the size of the cutter that you're using and the dimensions that are given. In absolute, you have zero, one number, two numbers, three numbers, four numbers that you need to pay attention to. An incremental button on the digital readout allows you to find the center or allows you, once you have found the center of this pocket, to re-zero your digital in incremental mode. And now your Y shifts are the same and your X shifts are the same. So once you have a new center incrementally, You only have two numbers to worry about. No more four different numbers to, to consider or confuse. So find the center of your feature, re-zero using incremental, plus and minus exactly the same, plus and minus exactly the same. Incremental moves on a CNC machine can be very valuable if you know how to code them, and I'll probably go over that sometime in the very near future. Leave a comment in the comment line below. Let me know how you use the incremental feature on your digital readout. I'm sure everybody that has watched this video will benefit by it. So thank you very much. Chopai Advanced Innovations.